2016 to 2022, BMW 740i will be replacement. For this job, you just can't go for it, but if you don't follow what I'm doing right now to show you how to put it in service mode. So to start, let's remove um, the parking brake actuator and that's the connector for it. You need to twist that cut from, from the bracket so you can unplug it. This is what I'm doing right now. You push the tab and release it. There it is. This is the tab that I'm talking about. Push it down and pull it up at the same time. Now I'm gonna use some alligator clip like this and um, so I can power um, the electric parking brake. It is a bit tricky, you're going to have to do it two times. If you got it right the first time, you won't have to do it the second time. And that, in the case here, I have to do it two times because you're gonna see that when I apply power to it, it's trying to, you're trying to push the brake back towards the water, which I don't want that. I'm gonna reverse the polarity and um, that's what I just did right now. And you're gonna, the caliper is gonna compress itself. The mode is gonna pull, um, pull back and you'll be able to compress the caliper. You're gonna know when when it's um, pushing against the water because you're gonna, it's going to stop a little bit. There's some resistance to it. So now let's remove our the retaining screw. It is um, it's six millimeter Allen socket. Let's remove um, our caliper bolt. It is a 13 mm I'm gonna use um, a plier like this to hold the nut in the back so it doesn't keep spinning. Caliper three. Let's remove our brake brake sensor. Make sure you don't break it because the, the, the new part doesn't come with me. So you're gonna have to reuse the old one. Just be careful while doing it. The way you remove it, um, on that one I had to remove the caliper out so I can see a little bit better where to um, pry it off safely. So you got it right. Now let's remove our caliper bracket. It is the E16. Gonna use the E60 and the swivel socket. Those bolts are very tight, by the way. Here is our caliper. We're going to clean um, the hardware here because obviously the new water doesn't come with new ones, but we have to reuse them. And we grease our pin. Use a hammer like this um, to take the water off. You're gonna clean the um, the brake pad, you can use the wire brush. I'm just using this. Um, I just bought it trying to um, try it out the first time. This is our new order. I'll put the link in the comment section below uh, for parts in the two holders in. I'm going to put our bracket in. Brake pad number one. Impact number two. Let's put our caliper on and put um and plug our sensor. You're gonna use a clip as it goes in. It goes in in the back brake pad by the way. The one that's the closest to the caliper piston. And push the brake pad or sensor to the bracket. And plug our pocket brake actuator. Gonna do a click and push it in the bracket. It's all good, guys. And, um, I'm going to jump back in the car to make sure everything works, pump the brakes and um, trap the pocket brake to make sure everything works.
Thanks for watching, guys.